Let us see about the third one, static scope. Once the function has finished its execution, all local variables are deleted. Okay, so in this case, we had z, which was the local variable. After the function ends, that means that closing curly bracket, when it is encountering the closing curly bracket, at that time, all the local variables are deleted. Okay, but in some cases, we want local variables not to be deleted. In such cases, static keyword is used. There are cases where we want the value of that local variable should be saved, should not be deleted. So, in that case, we use static keyword. Let us understand this by an example. So, this is our example, static variable, doctype HTML, HTML, head, title, close title, close head, body class, h1, this is beginning of PHP script, angle brackets, question mark, PHP, beginning of PHP script, function, keyword function, name of the function, my fun, starting curly bracket, echo, echo, this is just written to print on the page. Static dollar x equal to zero. So this is the first variable that we have to take inside the function. So this is a local variable. It is static. It is static because we have used the keyword static. Then dollar y equal to zero. Dollar x equal plus one. Dollar y plus one. So these two statements. I used to increment value of x and y respectively. Then echo variable x dot dollar z. So this is going to print value of x. Echo variable y dot dollar y. This is going to print value of y. Then we have closing curly bracket. So this indicates closing of the function. My fun. So this is first call to the function. My fun. Second call to the function, my fun, third call to the function. So the same function is being called thrice. Then we have question mark and angle bracket for closing PHP script. Finally, for the closing HTML script. So let's see the execution of this. Okay, so this is h1 static variable. This is just the line printed at the beginning of the function. Then values are assigned, incremented. So x becomes 1, y becomes 1. So here value of x is 1, value of y is 1. Then closing. When the function closes, the variable that is y Local variable, here the local variable is x, so it is deleted. Variable x is static, that is why it is not deleted and the value of x is retained throughout the program. Okay, so now this is the second call to the function. So this is echo command, this is variable x now. Value of x is 1, it is not going to initialize again to 0. Since it is a static variable, it is not going to initialize again. It is going to take the previous value. Okay, so the previous value of x is 1. y is 0. So y is going to be initialized again. This is a normal local variable. So x plus plus 1 plus 1 will be 2. y that is 0 plus 1 will be 1. So when we are printing x and y, we get like variable x is 2. Variable i is 1. Okay. First time again when we are calling the function, that time value of x is 2. So by incrementing it becomes 3. Y is initialized again to 0. So value after incrementing will become 1. So that is why in the third call we are getting variable x is 3, variable y is 1. Okay. So this is the use of static variable. This is static scope so that we can retain the previous value of our variable. Okay, so 
this is about the scope of variables in php thank you